How's it going, eh? Welcome back to the Great Green North. This is the channel where I help to get your lawn from brown and disgusting to green and beautiful in less than under a year. So if that sounds like a plan to you, hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about snow in the lawn and if snow is good for your lawn. Uh, I'm going to be showing you uh, here what the effects of the snow this year were on my lawn because the effects will vary from year to year depending on uh, how much snow you get that year and how much ice you get that year. Ice is a big factor uh, over here in southern Ontario um, because of the amount of ice storms we'll get constantly we'll almost get like a, a layer of ice on the lawn which uh, will cause some damage. i am also talk about why I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'm standing here right by my front lawn. My front lawn is still covered in about a foot and a half of snow um, from the major snowstorms we've had this year. We've kind of hit our first major thaw. Normally we get two or three major thaws a year uh, up here in Southern Ontario, but this year we didn't. Uh, we had one major thaw in December and we haven't had a thaw since. So uh, the snow has definitely piled up uh, over here and uh, it's caused some problems and I'm sure it will cause some damage on the lawn. Uh, that storm video that I showed you last week, that was literally just a week ago uh, and it's now 6 degrees today. It's supposed to be 11 degrees on Sunday so it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Uh, hoping to get out here and make some videos for you guys. The snow on my front lawn has a different effect than the snow on my side lawn and the snow on my back lawn and yet there's a reason why I haven't walked all over my lawn. See your lawn is a living plant just like you and it has these things called crowns. And the crowns are close to the ground and the crowns are what keeps the plant growing. However, if you crush those crowns, if you break those crowns, when your lawn is frozen, when the frost has fallen on the lawn, you will hurt your lawn and actually kill it. You can kill it. Uh, most of the time it recovers. Uh, however, I have seen uh, many instances when they killed it. One example of this is my local park. Uh, down in the town area of where I live, uh, they drove this truck through the park in December. December is one of the most vulnerable times here in Southern Ontario because we don't get snow. The most vulnerable time for your lawn is actually without snow and that's going to be falling into this video on what snow does for your lawn. Okay, so we would all think generally in our heads that hey, snow is not good for the lawn. I don't want snow on my lawn because snow packs down the lawn and gives me snow mold. I'm sure most of us have heard about snow mold. It's a fungus disease that lives in the grass after the snow melts and it's caused by the matting down of the grass and the lack of oxygen that your grass gets. But snow mold is not the worst thing that winter can do to your lawn. The worst thing that winter can do for, to your lawn is a lack of snow. Last year, we had a few major thaws in my side yard here and the lack of snow in this side yard pretty much destroyed it to the point where I almost had to restart my entire lawn. Knowing that as well, our lawns are always matted down in the spring and this is because the snow is basically a glacier. It moves across the lawn just like the glaciers did that formed North America over here. It moves across the lawn as it melts and flattens everything and that's why you have to rake up the thatch on your lawn in the spring. But other than that, snow is amazing for your lawn. Snow is an insulator. Think of it as a blanket. You want to know why the Inuit lived in igloos? It's because snow is a perfect insulator. It keeps people warm and that's what you want on your lawn. Snow is going to insulate your lawn from the elements over the winter and help your lawn to grow. When the lawn is frozen but does not have any snow on it and the wind blowing on the lawn will discolor it and give it that yellowy tinge that we all know after winter. And this yellowy tinge will lead to the most die off and the most lack of green up you will see in the spring. So this is what causes the yellowy tinge in your lawn. Not the snow. Snow is good for your lawn and you want to leave it on there as much as possible. Uh, do not shovel the snow off your lawn. When you shovel the snow off the lawn, you're removing that blanket, you're removing that protection, and then with you walking off the lawn, because I'm assuming you're shoveling off for a pathway other than, I don't know why else you would shovel it off your lawn. When you're shoveling off for a pathway and you're walking back and forth, between the thaws, you might rip up some of the grass. Between the shoveling, you're also gonna rip up some of the grass. And between the snow and the wind blowing on that lawn, it's gonna cause a lot of damage. We're coming into our first thaw. We're actually coming out of it. 
Uh, today's the last warm day for about two days. My dog is walking on a pond. Anyways, I'm gonna show you now what a uh, spot of the lawn looks like as a spot of my lawn looks like. And keep in mind, this is a struggling spot. This is a spot that I said I almost had to restart last year. What it looks like after the suffering through the winter. Okay, so here you go. I don't know how good this looks on camera, but as you can see, I am quite happy. Um, it's quite green. First of all, I'm pretty happy with how green it is. And this area is suffering a lot more die off because of the fact that this area does not get a lot of snow. Most of our snow comes over my house this way and blows down in here. You can see how deep the snow is around these trees. So this is why this area doesn't get a lot of snow. The house shields it. So because of that, this area uh, experiences a lot more die off in and around here and around over here by my sump pump as well experiences a lot of die off because the snow thaws. Look at the color difference between this and this. It's honestly shocking the color difference between these two. This is what happens to exposed grass when it does not have snow on it. It suffers die off, it suffers damage, and there's nothing good about what's happening here. So. This is actually really cool. Uh, I think those are raccoon. They're either raccoon or they're skunk. Here's a new project we're working on. These are brand new emerald cedars planted last fall. And they don't seem to have suffered too bad. Uh, they seem to be doing okay. We're gonna be working on those this spring, getting them up to the growth habit I'd like them to have. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Great Green North. In a summary, we're gonna say that snow is good for the lawn in moderation. A lot of snow, blowing snow buildup, ice buildup on the lawn can really hurt it by matting it down when it moves like a glacier, as we talked about in the spring, but snow is good for the lawn. Quite a bit of it is good as it's a good insulator. Secondly, frost is bad for the lawn, especially with you walking on it. Do not walk on the lawn in the winter time because the frost is not good for it. And finally, Overall, enjoy your winter. Try to stay off the lawn. It will help you in the spring. And, you know, as soon as the thaw comes out, get out. Go and inspect your lawn, as I talked about. This is how you're going to dominate for the next season. you got to inspect your lawn, walk around, look at it, look at how it's doing, and assess the challenges you're going to have to face this year. As I said, going into the spring, focus on the lawn, not the weeds. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Great Green North. I would encourage you guys to subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. And I hope spring is coming wherever you are very soon. And from the Great Green North, my name is Wade Murray. Thank you guys for watching and keep it green. Here's a quick update on the mower deck. The bottom is clean, the top is in the process of being clean, the belt has been removed. The belt is actually, this is the lawn striper that I have. The belt is over here. Blades have been sharpened and uh, we're pretty much ready for uh, this season to go.